ministry, like pastors and all that. All of them told me that better be wise. America. <laughs> now these countries. <laughs> better be wise. I said, okay. I was afraid to talk to my dad about it because I didn't know what he would say. First of all, all the investment at UT, all the money we have spent, international students at UT, it's not cheap. I was, I was afraid to talk to him. So one day I saw someone cry and I told him that, you know, ah, this is what the Lord is telling me. I was shocked. You know why I was afraid? Because my dad was a, was, uh, uh, was a career person. He, walked, he had worked in... Uh, was a was an accountant was a uh, chartered accountant all his life he worked top manager all his life so i was saying that what can where did the way that get this boy from now i thought that's what he was going to say when i called him i was shocked he said michael god said that do it leave everything i will support you i was shocked you know why he has come to the end of his own life he has seen everything he has seen everything he said, this is the best thing you can do. I thought he would tell me that, no, do th you know, I was following this path. I wanted to be an accountant, to be a CPA. I was following this path. He said, forget all those things. Forget it. Forget it. Follow the Lord. If that's what he's telling you, do it. When I came, when I now went back to him when things were tough, after like two months, that I think that I think I want to change, you know. I will still follow God, but hmm, the things I want to do, I want to do them. He kept quiet for a few minutes. I said, Michael, Michael. Hmm. Said the God I know doesn't change. You are the one that is changing. So he told me, stay there. It may be painful. Stay there. Nobody follows God and regrets. Stay there. 